So you understand why those of us born in January, we are survivors. Yes, we are hustling awesome to survive. January, the longest month ever. How is January 2022 treating you? Don't worry, it's all good. Yeah? <laughs> The month will soon end and you'll get your salary, okay? Well, welcome to the Standpoint 2022, third edition for the year. And today we are going to talk to some young people who have benefited from the MTN Foundation. You know, as a philanthropist, I believe so much in philanthropy and, you know, foundation that support, especially the education of the young ones. You know how the Girl in Need Foundation, yes, we'll talk about it one of these days very soon. But the MTN Foundation supports many charities. And today we are going to talk to three young people who have benefited from this foundation and how it's changed your lives. We we'll also learn how you can also apply. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be blessed enough to get a scholarship from the MTN Foundation. My name remains Wahine Yeregefti Auntie, still the same woman, about to be 52 very soon. Mm -hmm. In how many days? 23rd January, don't forget. Yes. Okay. Thank you to GTP for my cloth. This is Adipadumas. This is also Adipadumas. My dress is by Brie Redua, hair by Inshilo GH, the one and only this year. Inshilo has amazing projects coming up. And you don't want to miss any of it. But of course, you know that I always come back to tell you about it when the time is getting close. Thank you to Michelin's Mirror for my makeup as always, you know, always on point. Thank you so much to her. Makeup product by Note Cosmetics. We take a break when we come back. Hey, it's time to sit back and find out how you can get scholarship for your ward or for yourself from the MTN Foundation. We'll be back. <music> Welcome back to the standpoint. As I told you during the intro, I'm about to talk to three young people who are beneficiaries of the MTN scholarship scheme. Um, we get to know a bit about them, what they're doing, what that um, scholarship has done to um, their lives and their education, their families. And you also get to know how you can apply um, and find out if you qualify. It's going to be really, really exciting. Let me say thank you to um, GTP. Um, they are sponsors and SRM Balloons and Accessories 2022. The standpoint has something amazing for you. Our theme, as you heard last week, broken but beautiful. So please, if you want to sponsor us, call 020-886-1919. 020-886-1919 or 0543-618182. God richly bless you. Now on my site, I have, um, so seated right opposite me is? Um, Wisdom Ndukwe. Yeah, um, student of the University of Ghana, final year. Okay. Reading um, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science and Philosophy. Yeah. Okay. You look like a politician. <laughs> <laughs> and then you are? I'm Vanessa Intia Lisa, a student of GIJ, Ghana okay. Institute of Journalism, reading journalism. Reading journalism. And then oh. in my final year. In my final year, degree. Yeah. Yes, please. Degree. Awesome. And you are? I'm Richard Yautete. Okay. Um, I'm with um, MTN, MTN, Customer Care Department. Okay. Uh, so when you are in trouble, you are the one who call. <laughs> we'll call. I can't see. Yeah. Well, welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. Thank you and uh, we hope 2022 treats you well. Let me know a bit about you. Tell me a bit about you. Okay. Um, so um, my name is Wisdom. Mm. Um, I'm from Laboni Senior High School. Um, that's why I completed my senior secondary school education in okay. 2017. Um, I had a gap year because I had to stay at home, work, try, and then raise money to um, continue with my education. Mm -hmm. So um, myself, um, I'm the third of like um, four children. And then you realize that um, in the family, like I had elder siblings that were in school. And then myself going to school, like right at a particular time, 
um, looking at the kind of um, the financial burden that that would um, put on my parents. Like um, I had to at least wait and then try to do something on my own mm -hmm. and to come up with um, a little funds to be able to um, support whatever I, uh, support my parents has to ensure that yeah. like because I'm able to. Because they were to... not that financially, you know, stable to be able to take care of all of you. Yes, like especially yeah. given the cost of like university so education, education now. now. Yeah, so um, that that was just about it. Okay. Yeah, okay. so. Yeah, okay. so um, I applied the following year, and um, I got into um, the University of Ghana, um, the Premier University of Ghana. Yeah, I know um, the Premier University. Some people might get angry actually, but <laughs> yeah, um, the Premier and the best. Yeah, okay. and where I, I was given the opportunity to study um, Bachelor of Arts, okay. uh, Political Science, Philosophy, and then Archaeology. That was okay. in level hundred, and I dropped it. But okay. then you realize that. Um, um, even going to school in the first year, I realized I didn't even pay um, my school fees in its entirety because um, the university has a system, um, a system where you have to pay 60% um, of your fees for the first, like the first semester to secure admission, and then the second semester you pay the remainder of um, of the sum. So um, on my part, I had, like I had through the benevolence of like family, friends, like I had done um, done the minimum um, okay. to get into it. You realize that you go. You, um, the second semester, we go home for Christmas. Yeah, we, we are about to resume school, like we are about to do now. And then you realize that you have to pay the rest of the the remainder of um, the fees, residential. And then you realize that then you begin to have a bit of a problem. Yeah. So, yeah. So. So things were really tough for you there. Yes, I, I can yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, I mean, went in there with the money you made from working. The one year you period you took. You know the money you made and then benevolence of family and friends all put together that's what enabled you to enter the first year yes yes okay let me what what about you what's your background um, what's the story i'm vanessa lisa mm -hmm. vanessa and lisa sorry um a past student of ningo senior high school that's where i completed my senior high mm -hmm. i completed in 2018 and i wanted to enter into junior um, Ghana Institute of Journalism because I had a passion to mm. be into the journal, mm -hmm. um, like the media sector, yeah. So, but then my dad was having those differences, um, financial problems and stuff. He was like, I should stay and wait till there was money. And then do we, I have no one else to look up to because it's like we are in the nuclear family, there's mother, father, and children, yeah. Okay. And it was sad, some yeah. way it was sad. Because my dad started, like, true that he was just frustrated, started doing a lot of stuff. So I needed to call my uncle from, I think, UK or so, and he just helped me with, to start schooling, yeah. Mm -hmm. He gave me part payment, that was the 60%, and I paid. But then when I was in, I was just frustrated because fees here, yeah. dragging you, Buying, you can't just concentrate, you know, yes. Booze, pamphlets and yeah. all that. And my dad also didn't want me to work because he was like, boys, boys, I, I just came out of school and you're going to be pregnant here and there, dragging the shoes here and there. But then by God's grace, yeah. I got to so somewhere. So you didn't have to stay at home for a year or something? Didn't no, want I stay? wanted to, so I was just trying as much as possible, getting to people at least to get a little means okay. to so, get there, okay. yeah. Okay, what was the story? Yeah, so um, <laughs> mine might be pretty different from this. Okay. So I'm from Macra Academy, okay. Blow B. Blow so, B? Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Yes. You also went to Akata? Oh no, but I'm a fan of the country. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of Kanishi boys there. Okay. You rule Akata. You rule Akata. Yes. I hear you. That's you. arguable. But. Okay. My husband Blow went to Akata Blow. anyway. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, so for me, it's it wasn't easy. I'm the only child of my mom and dad. Okay. And they are separated, so I don't live with both of them. I live with my granny for all my life. Mm. So he, she is the one who had been taking care of me. So just after Accra Academy, I had to start doing stuff on my own. Mm. So that's how come I got into the IT stuff. So, mm. so after Accra Academy, what did you do? So you do stuff. What did you? What yeah, were you so doing? So I joined um, a multimedia company. It is into photography. Okay. So I had to learn from the my boss. So as an apprentice, mm. so learning and also earning something from him because once you go for gigs and he knows that you pick um, car and the rest, he will also give you something. Mm. But it was not like an official payment that he is giving you. Mm. Yes, but then he saw the passion that I have for multimedia and also IT stuff. So I try to do stuff on my own that amazes him, and he said like you have a bright future. So we're all planning on how I could further my education because I, the funds had to come for myself. 
Okay. Yes, there was nothing that I could have done at that moment to continue. So I, maybe we'll come to the MTN, MTN story, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then it what, wasn't what, easy. Yeah, no. what was your dream when you were growing up? So um, my dream was, um, it kept changing. <laughs> yes, um, I had wanted to own a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. Also, I wanted to travel and then bring in goods from Asia and then sell to make quick Business money. Businessman. Yeah. Then I got um, introduced to, I think, one iPhone model. And the pictures that I was taking with the iPhone, I got amazed about how photography could be. So I decided to go into that aspect of okay. photography. That's why you went That's to work I went with the multimedia. To, yes, okay. to multimedia. Okay. Yes, and okay. then we started okay. learning and then working at that okay. side. All so right. that's how it comes. So my dream was actually, apart from um, being a businessman, multimedia was on my heart. Okay. And that was something I wanted to do. Okay. Then I got introduced by a colleague into IT. Okay. I realized that there's a whole world of oh, IT, IT that I could pursue my career in. Okay. Vanessa, what was your dream going on? My dream was to, when I was in junior high, I wanted to be a doctor. But later when I got to senior, I was like, oh, I did general art and I was like, oh, I really like talking. Yes, mm -hmm. for that day. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'll be good at yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So, we have a special guest. Can you sing? <laughs> yes, I can oh, okay. sing also. And then that's that's something you have that is different <laughs> for me. Okay. I can talk for the whole of the whole universe, but sing <laughs> I can't sing for an aunt. Oh to okay. save my life. <laughs> so I was okay, like, okay. Then after, mm -hmm. when I got to senior, I was like, okay, when I come out, I'll, I would like to be a journalist or yeah, something like OPR oh, PR personnel or something, yeah. Okay. And what does he do? Uh, yeah, so uh, what I've wanted to be has changed at different points in times, like okay. in my life, okay. um, based on the kind of exposure I've had like at varying times. Mm -hmm. So at a point, I remember I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. That's why I actually read science in high school. Okay. So I was in Laboni, and then um, my exposure to things like debates, things like quizzes and all of that, I realized that nah, I actually had um, a pension for like law, um, like policy leadership. Right. Yeah, so... Um, Coming to the university, I decided to divert and then change my like, and divert from medicine to where so I'm at now. So now, what do you want to be? Oh, now actually, just want to be um, a policy influencer. Actually, I think that um. Why are they poor? I was expecting <laughs> politicians. Oh no 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 no! I, I don't I, know why I see you as a politician. <laughs> no, are you in student leadership? Yes, actually, I'm the um, vice president of the University of Ghana, SRC. Yeah. Me, I, I, I said I could tell. Ah, are you also in student politics? No, please. Were you in student politics? No, I didn't. You didn't? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we did from Accra. Yes, did you um, in did Accra, further education? Yes, I, from Accra. Mm -hmm. uh, what I was actually was in SU. Okay. Yes, so. Okay, I from Accra. Like, but did, what university did you go to? What tertiary institution? Okay, so I went to University of Ghana and also Ghana Telecom University. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let me take a break when we come back. We'll continue on this. Well, let me say thank you to um, our supporters. That's the Stunning Florals and Deco, Casa Preco, um, Puma Drinks, and Awake Purified Mineral Water, House of Food, Antivera, and the team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kodam's Gifts and Stationery, everything gifts and stationery. You go there, you at Cow Lane, you know, and yep, cleaning services before, after, during. They will sort you out. Juice time from the farm to the bottle. They do it all. They have their own farm. They have their factory. They bottle it. Everything they supply at various places. Go go to your God by Painter Foods. We are so, so grateful to them. And know this. The Standpoint Christmas and New Year programs were sponsored. And this is part of it. By Prudential Bank, your customer focus bank. And Prudential Bank says this. Prudential Bank Limited offers you... Share convenience now and into the new year. That's we are in the new year 2022. Use any of their cards that's Ghana Link, Visa, or UPI and get between 5 to 15% discount from their partners. And these are their partners Aha Intimate, Accra, and West Hills Mall, Apricot, East Ligon, um, Synlab at Roman Rage, Doors Fashionable Kate at Oyarifa. Villandro residents at East Legon and Ho, welcome to a five-star banking experience. According to CIMG September 2021 survey, and enjoy the little comforts of life. Terms and conditions apply. We also say thank you to E-Cakes. E-Cakes, 
delicious cake, cupcakes, loaf cakes, birthday anniversary, whatever cake you get into uh, in touch with them. And uh, whatever the occasion, they will be there to sort you out. We have Aduma frozen foods, chicken, gizzard, um, sausages, fish, all types of fish, all types of birds. They have it there and they will sort you out. Also say thank you to Note Cosmetics, you know, every time. Arabna Otiwa Ministries. I'll give you some of her pen drives. That you listen to her music and sure. you, you are... Are you still goofy? Yes. <laughs> well, yes, no, I'm, I'm still in church. Okay. I still work in church. You still work in church. What yes. do you do in church? I'm a, I'm a protocol officer. A protocol officer. Yeah. Which church? Grace Center. Grace Center. Medina oh. State. Medina yeah. State. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Daffy's Health and Beauty. Their products, I mean... Two weeks ago, you had, you know, Reverend Mrs. Lamti. She used it on Hima, you know. Um, they have their immune booster. They have their gels. They have their hair, hair grow. I mean, amazing products. They're very good and FDA approved as well. So we say thank you to all our partners. They did classics. Thank you so much. We are grateful. All your boo-boos and beautiful outfits for whatever occasions, just make sure you go there to get your outfit sorted. And we take a break when we come back. We'll find out how they got to know about the MTN Foundation and what it did for them. We'll be back. <music> Welcome back. Once again, I say thank you to DTP for my fabric. My dress is by Brie Redua, hair by Inshilo GH. Told you to look out for her project and program for the year 2022. Thank you to Michelin's Mera for my makeup and makeup products by Note Cosmetics. And my shoe, you know, nice one by Afrax Closet. Yes, it's Afrax Closet. And she is on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Now, so you were the multimedia. Yeah. Richard. And then you met who? I and met, told um, you about? Yeah, so one senior manager in MTN, I met and in our Where conversation. Where did you meet him? Okay, so it was um, through a lady friend who works at MTN. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we met and he was like, so in our conversation, he said, what do you want to do? I said, oh, I want to go into IT okay. and the stuff. And he said, and I told him that I don't have the money to pay their fees. I asked and it was quite expensive because mm -hmm. you need to get laptop. You mm -hmm. need to, and the schools that I wanted to go to was also expensive. Mm -hmm. Then he said, oh, I could sponsor, but this is how much I could pay. So, okay, all right, I'm um, offer it. I also have saved something that we could use. I hadn't heard about the scholarship yet. Okay. Yeah, so, and I'm sure because he was working there, he was thinking that since he's a staff, he may not qualify to recommend someone because it's going to be a conflict yeah. of interest. So he prepared the money for my first fees. And then whilst I was about to pay, someone at the school that I met said that there's something going on at uh, MTN Foundation if he could apply. So I applied and then... I didn't hear from there for two theories. I thought, okay, I didn't qualify. Mm. Before I was going to pay my fees, I received a call that I could come to, I should come to the head office for my school fees check. And I called the man that this is what um, I've been told. He said, that's good news. Go and pick it up. I need to pick it up. And that's the, my journey with MTN yeah. um, Bright Scholarship Foundation. Yes. Uh, this was when? Which year? Uh, this is um, 2016, the year. That's 2016. Yeah, that's. It's empty and bright scholarship. Yes, please. Okay. And Vanessa, how did you? So, just through my dad's friend. Um, he's a family friend. Mm. So, as I said, I do call him Do Uncle Dominic. Okay. So, he was like, um, when I was in my level two, um, second year, that's level 200, I told my dad I need to pay part of my fees, at least to continue. He was like, he doesn't have, I need to resign like get back and yeah. join him at his pub work with him to get something i was like no since i've started i want to and so i i was just crying one evening and uncle dominic came around he came to check on my dad so when he came he was like what's the problem i told him um this and that is what is happening like my dad is refusing to pay he said he can't go for loan and stuff 
I was like, okay, there is this MTF Foundation scholarship thing, and you can register. I'll try helping you out to register. I was like, oh, that's very good. So that drive very evening, I went down on my knees. I was like, oh, God, thank you for my savior. <laughs> yeah, and through that, yeah, I was, um, I registered. After registering, like, a month, uh, no more than a month, yeah, I got a call that I should come to the head office for a check. So I was like, wow. But then I paid you part of my You guys make it seem very easy. Then me to ask you where I apply to. <laughs> you just apply and you, you didn't go through pro any process. You just applied. Yeah. And the next thing you heard was come to MTN yes. headquarters for your yeah. check. Yeah. So, wow. <laughs> but that what I know was my, my uncle, he told me it was supposed to go through. I am supposed to go through and it, like I have to be called to be interviewed first go to my um, results to check if everything is all right. But then because I was in a, a, a difficult time, like the deadline was due and other stuff. So he was like, okay, they'll see to it and make sure everything is all right. So, so when I got a call that I should come for my check. So you didn't have to go for interview or anything? No, because each and every year they take my um, results, slip, check through if everything is all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so and then that that was it. Yes. And when when was this? That was twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yes. Until date, they yes, still yeah. pay you your fees yes. and take it. Is that just the fees, or they give you they something? Pay my fees, um, and was the name my hostel? Yeah. You pay I needed hostel? to leave my dad's end because he was just frustrating me. It's like. How can I get, like, he was having an issue with my dad and um, my uncle because he wanted me to join him at his pub. And I to said, I, that wasn't my, my, my future. Mm. I don't want to work at a pub, okay. though if I want to create one, but that isn't where I'm supposed, supposed to, be. to be. So he was just, hold on. Yes. So, so, I needed so to you move. had to leave. Yes, and went yeah. to the hostel. Okay. Okay. And they helped me with that. They okay. paid for my hostel fees okay. and everything. All right. Richard, you were going to say something? Yes. Um, about the application process, mm -hmm. we made it look very simple, but mm -hmm. it wasn't simple like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the portal they created, so to prevent the human influence, you have to apply on a portal. So you write a letter stating why you should be given the scholarship, mm -hmm. and then you attach your exams records. So your transcript or your WASI results, and then your passport picture, and then your admission letter. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, I had already told I was going to pay my fees because I had applied, mm -hmm. and then the man was willing to sponsor part of the fees. Right. So you are you attach the admission so letter. So you, the man was about to pay part of the fees. <laughs> How were you going to pay the rest? Yeah. You're trusting God. You're yes. trusting God. <laughs> to go through it. So once you apply and then you write you write a, a statement why you need to be given the scholarship, mm -hmm. add your results, add the admission. So it's not just for anybody and it's also on the portal. So mm -hmm. the human element is being taken out. Okay. So they say I'm sure um, a board selected. And then mm -hmm. when I got called to the office, I was asked questions about my future, mm -hmm. my results, what I'm going to do, if they give me this, what would I do and all that, my commitment to the scheme and all that. And mm -hmm. Once you answer the questions, I think that's the interview part that is being done. But I didn't feel like it was an interview, interview yeah. because, mm -hmm. yeah, so after everything and I was It looked called, quite informal. Yeah. Yes, they make you feel at ease mm -hmm. that this is what they are going to do for you. They've read your letter that you posted and then they've seen your results. They see that you're a bright um, student and then they are willing to assist you go through your education. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. It looks simple, but it wasn't that, that simple, simple like that, yeah. yes. Wisdom. Okay, so um, I was in February, mm -hmm. yeah, um, on one of our WhatsApp platforms, and then um, I saw a flyer mm -hmm. um, talking about um, the MTN Bright Scholarship. Initially, I, I saw it and then I shrugged it off because um, Elia had made um, a number of um, scholarship applications, and then for some of them, I never heard from them. Some of, uh, um, some of them, you'd go um, to the first phase and then like, it becomes un unsuccessful because at the point where you don't hear from them, mm -hmm. um, there's the assumption that you didn't make it past that. So mm -hmm. the incentive to do that was very little until like, um, a friend like, sent it to me like, directly and then asked me to apply for it. I was like, okay, fine. So I, went, I looked at the requirements, um, good ac academic standing, be able to demonstrate the need and all of those things, like, I was like, okay, these are things that um, yeah. I meet the criteria. So um, mm -hmm. I got my transcript, wrote my um, statement of purpose as to why um, I want the scholarship and then mm -hmm. what the scholarship can do for me as a person, as an individual. Um, mm -hmm. Attached all the necessary documents to it and then I, I submitted it, yes. Yeah, so um, 
that. And that, it took how long before you heard from well, After I submitted it, um, you see, because of my previous experiences, I actually, I just, I it just did the, I just did the course. <laughs> like the person that the friend that sent it to me was someone that was older and then someone that I respected. So I did it out of respect for the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I closed my mind. So I was there one day and then I got a course. Like ah, I was supposed to come for an interview. And I'm like, hey, sir. <laughs> let's let's see but then for some reason i actually had a good feeling about it so um we went there um, i went to the head office on the day and um, there were a number of us over there um, we interacted we began our interactions we interacted amongst ourselves we went for the interview um, and then after that like a month or two after that um, i was there and i was told oh I've been accepted, like here, yeah, and I was like, oh, wow, like, that's big, yeah. So that, that's my journey, like, yeah. that's how um, MTN came into the picture. Okay. I all started from um, seeing a fly on social media, mm -hmm. and then a friend actually um, sending it to me after, like... Because that, that friend knew what you were going through. Yes, like, sent it to me. So I, when you, they gave the check to you personally? So for me, they paid my fees into um, my accounts, like the school accounts oh. directly. So uh, it had very little to do with me. Okay. But then besides paying my uh, my school fees and my residential fees, um, MTN also gives stipend um, allowance like to students okay. so as to ensure that um, um, students are more comfortable. Yeah, Because um, yeah. besides the academic fees and then the residential fees, um, there are other like, um, material commitments that we have to mm. make as students that also have an effect on how comfortable we are and how focused we are on our studies. So they try and um, they try. Um, as much as possible um, to um, provide support like that, yes. Yeah, so. And how did you feel when you finally realized that they have responded and paid your fees? For me, I was elated. Like, I, I was so <laughs> elated because um, the academic year was going to end and then I was thinking about how that it was going to be a long back. I was thinking about how that I was going to have to work um, to get money and all of that. Um, I debate for the university. University of Ghana, and I realized that if there's the, there's the avenue for me to go and have, like if I have to work because I need to um, raise money to pay, raise some part of my fees, you realize that you wouldn't be able to participate in other activities that are supposed to make um, your university experience, your educational experience mm -hmm. holistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, um, it was just that. Um, that freedom, um, that that air of freedom, um, that um, that air of excitement to, to make you be yeah. finally be a student, like be a student, and then actually um, have um, the kind of allowance to focus on your books and then other things that um, you are in the university for. So, for me, that's mm. that's, that's awesome. Mm. <laughs> Vanessa, as for you, I can imagine how excited you were. Hey. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was so much excited, yes, because mm -hmm. I, it was like I was out of. Something I've been always like praying for. Like, um, but like before the scholarship, were you in, in a hostel? No. You were I was with my dad. Okay. Yeah. So because of scholarship, you moved to the hostel? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had a, my peace of mind because at my dad's place, at, a, at his pub, he doesn't, there was always noise. You have to learn in the noise. After school, I have to come to the pub, work till one, go back to bed, wake up at six. So it was just like tiring, yeah. When, when I, I had this and I moved to the hostel, I, I really had my peace of mind. Mm -hmm. I can study at my like, quiet place, mm -hmm. um, usual time, anytime. Mm -hmm. um, I'm okay, yeah. Richard, how has this changed your life? Yeah, greatly. So let me just pick it from here. Going to, a, um, to do computer science or BSc information technology without a laptop, how would you feel? Mm -hmm. So when I heard that the check was ready and I spoke to the man and he said, that's good news, we can then buy the laptop because I'm going to pay fees, with, I'm going to learn without a laptop, how is that going to be possible? So it means that the fees took part, like a bedding that I had been praying for, how to get a laptop to do. They actually asked me if I'm going to be in the hostel. I said, well, I plan of st not staying in the hostel because the school I chose is at Abeka, uh, Ghana Telecom University. So mm. I was at, living at Abeka, it's at Tesano, because I know I, I won't get money for hostel. Mm. So I just chose a school closer to my yeah. home. Yeah. Yes. So when they said, would you be in the hostel? I said, no, uh, it's closer to me. So I can still walk to school and then learn. But the laptop that I had to use, the extra money I was going to use to pay their fees, was like the bedding that was lifted on me. Mm. If they hadn't come through, I would have just gone to school without a laptop. Then, without a laptop. Yeah, IT students without, without a laptop. laptop. That's, that's <laughs> disaster. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the bedding they lifted off me. And mm -hmm. they, as they've all mentioned, the stipends and then calling to check up on you, making sure, are you okay? Is everything 
We are going for so you. So they don't just you know, leave you. They actually follow the process. They are with you. Exactly. Yeah. They guide you yeah. and exactly. everything. And, and my story is just what uh, is likely guided me through to NSS and even employment. So when we get there, I mm -hmm. think that's where you see. So they don't leave you. The foundation don't leave you mm -hmm. as a student. Come for your check and go. No. So they call you sometimes and ask, is everything all right? If you are coming for your check, they ask you, do you need any other thing? Ask them to give you a bill and we will pay. So that's what, how far they go. And then sometimes they ask for students' mobile money numbers and then send them stipends once the academic calendar be begins. So they mm -hmm. send you something, and then you get an alert that mm -hmm. this is for you to take you through the mm -hmm. academic calendar. And Tell me, why do you think they chose you? You qualified? Um, I can't pinpoint why, but I think probably I told them I really needed that scholarship. Mm -hmm. As you said, your uh, statement of purpose, when you write it and you add your grades and your grades should be very good and they, they are looking for students that that's what are not I, was, going to I was waiting to hear exactly your grades, your grades should, should be, be very good. good exactly so that they said mcn bright foundation, foundation. Exactly. so you need to be bright exactly okay and once you get in there do they monitor your grades as well yes, yes. They every, do. Year, every year you have to send your grades okay so um if i may um you realize that um for a lot of students the number of um um indexes or indices that actually um, affect your performance and then one of that has to do with the availability of resource to funds. be able to, yeah. to focus on your studies because exactly. in the absence of funds what you'd have to do is to actually um, be selling on the mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. having a side yeah. hustle which on, you won't, won't give you the like, peace yeah, of mind doesn't give you the, to, to study. study but then even beyond that like i said um, for me i believe that um education is, um, is supposed to be holistic mm -hmm. yes um as a result of the kind of um freedom i have i'm, I'm able to um take up other extracurricular activities. So I debate for the University of Ghana. Um, I'm into leadership. Um, I, I was recently elected um, mm, vice yes, president. You're into student politics. Yeah. Student leadership. I actually don't like the sound of politics, actually. So I student could, politics. Student leadership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but politics anyway. Yeah, politics. Yeah, I was but, a student leader, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then also, um, more importantly, like they mentioned, is the mentorship. Because yeah. you realize that um, yeah. for... Um, some of us, the backgrounds where we come, we come from, you don't have like um, people in industry and um, professionals that, are, that, that, that would be readily available um, to offer support, to offer advice, to um, offer guidance to you. And then that's one, um, one part of the scholarship that stands out for me, like yeah. the, the foundation that stands out for me. Because yeah. you have um, the likes of Mr. George Frimpong, Mr. Nene Boete, like all of those people, like having, an invest, like having a vested interest in your development, mm -hmm. um, your academics and your person and all of that. Yes, and then for me, um, when you put all of these things together, yeah. actually it's, it's a great, great opportunity for you to excel. And I believe that if anyone at any point in time as a scholar and that person doesn't really do well, then... I, 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 I have no words for the person because like um, MTN actually creates the ambience for you yeah. to succeed. Yeah. Like they, they, they spare you on, like they, they encourage you, like they, they make it easy for yeah, you make to... make it holistic. Yes, yeah. for yeah. you yeah. to holistic, be yourself yeah. and then develop, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. You're no, let me take a break. When we come back, we'll look at the way forward. Sure. So now you have the freedom to learn. <laughs> You don't have to worry about your school fees. Yes. You don't have to worry about your hostel fees. Yes. You don't have to worry about stipends. You know, something small, you know. For the really, pocket. For the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> something for the girls and boys. Yes. Yeah. But this one is coming from MTN. Yes. yes. We'll look at that. Well, let me say thank you to GTP. They are our sponsors. Thank you so much to them. Thank you to Esther and Balloons and Accessories. And this particular program is also sponsored by MTN, paid for by MTN. And they make sure that they are young ones who they are sponsoring, who they have um, given scholarships to get to tell their own stories, to encourage others also to apply and to see, not to give up, but to apply. You never know what will happen. We take a break. When we come back, we'll look at the way forward. Somebody is working with MTN. I want to find out how that happened. Yeah. You know, from scholarship to working there. Yeah. Somebody's, I mean, her final year, what is up next? What is going to happen? Somebody's in student leadership. <laughs> What's going to happen? We'll be back. Welcome back to the Standpoint and the Standpoint Special Christmas 
our new year programs and this is the last one it's brought to you by prudential bank e-cakes aduma frozen foods notes cosmetics estrogen balloons and accessories arabana otiwam ministries daffy's health and beauty day day classics thank you to all of them we are extremely grateful for their support during the period and we pray that they will come back and support the standpoint for three months six months whatever you please 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 approach us and we'll give you a good deal know that the standpoint is on six platforms we are on joy prime and ebn tv we are on true tv facebook youtube and of course, our website, www.thestandpoint.com, powered by a Dream Oval. In my studio, I have Wisdom, I have Vanessa, I have Richard, all beneficiaries of MTN Brights Foundation. Now, how did that happen? How yes, come you're working so... with <laughs> MTN? Was it part of the agenda? Not really part of the agenda, but as my colleagues also mentioned, they have a vested interest in your career path as well. Mm. And as a foundation, you also want economic empowerment. I remember in our final year, they asked who are those who want to do service in MTN? Because mm. they have people who are already doing service there. Okay. So they just want to facilitate your service with them. And I saw that as an opportunity to do the service there. So I submitted my names. And we are a lot. So they said they have about 20 slots or, or 10 slots. So if the, you are posted and then they, they, want to, they want you to work there, then you, you get there to register and then you start doing your service there. So that's how come. So it's like they were following you through your car. They are guiding you okay. on a path, exactly. And once the service is over, they have a policy that they retain those who were outstanding, those who's um, output where okay during their service period and then they yes they retain you they regularize your employment and then they keep you so they don't just give you the opportunity to do your service there and leave you to go and hustle and come back or <laughs> yes yeah, so they try to help you on the path so that's how the foundation has been very very helpful and then for me i'm very very grateful for okay, that so opportunity so after your service they employed you exactly how long have you been working with them after service just a year. Just a year. Yes, please. Okay. Hey, a year is not just two. <laughs> People are staying at home. Yes. Ten years, no job. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, what's the agenda? So after school, what next? After what do school, you hope to do? I what do you want to do? I actually want to join the MTN. I, yeah, <laughs> show what they did for me. I, I feel like, yeah, and besides, it matches with my, what I'm studying. Yeah. Kind of communication. Yeah. Yeah, so I would like to, You want like to go to, to yeah. Madame Georgina's department? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? If I get a chance to, I will. Okay. Yeah. And then that's what I, I, actually, that was this year. Yeah. We want I wanted to do my internship there, but then because of COVID, COVID and yeah. other stuff, they were like, no, they are rather taking the national service personnel. So mm -hmm. next year, I would like to join. Okay. And then okay. maybe from there, go to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you're learning hard. Very well. Yeah. I want to make them proud. You want to? My, my family too. Oh, that's, that's nice. You want to make them, that be, you're extremely grateful. Because yes. there are some people who get the scholarships and they mess up. Instead of making them sit, I mean, you, you, you were so profound mm -hmm. on that, that yeah. if you have your fees being paid mm -hmm. for you, you, you have yeah, the scholarship and everything, and you don't do well, then yeah. Yeah. Really, you don't know who. We who, don't know. Who, yeah, maybe. but there are some people who, because it, they, they, in, in a account, we have said, I my refi. Yeah, they forget yeah, yeah, yeah. who they are. So yeah. the ultimate is to go into communication. Do you hope to continue to do yes. your master's yes. or everything? Coming out with good grade, I'm just looking up to... Um, first class or second class upper. Then from you there, go, girl. <laughs> yeah. Then from there, maybe I'll master in PR. Then. Okay. But will you work a while before you do your master's? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll do that. You're a sensible girl. Yeah. I like you. You're my kind of girl. You know. I want to have experience, yeah. Yeah. And experience. you also hope to have your master's sometime? Exactly, yes. In so IT, still in, in IT? In IT, yes. And, and I've discussed that with my line managers at work. Mm. And one thing MTN Foundation also did was the place I wanted to work where my skills and what I learned could be useful. They tried to see if there was a space there, they'll get you there. At the time they didn't get you, they just say, okay, then you could do mentorship or shadowing. Mm -hmm. So I studied IT and so this is, even though there's space in customer care, I want to still learn more about IT, mm -hmm. have the practical hands on. And the foundation still try to pull strings and can you get our guy yeah. to learn some of this? And so, 
they don't leave you just there Definitely. on your own. They right. try to guide you on yeah. the career yeah. path. So I will still be pursuing my master's in IT. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And with them, you? Okay, um, so um, I'm completing school this year. Mm. Yeah, the immediate focus is um, serving my country, um, mm. national service. So um, that's the immediate focus. But then um, in the short term, um, I would also, um, I intend to further my education and do a master's and probably do a doctorate degree. Oh, yes, and that's then, uh, cool. Yeah, so um, th yeah. That's, that's just In about. what? Uh, for what me, do you want to be in the future? So for me, actually, I'm really particular about um, um, public policy, um, public sector reformation, because um, I realize that um, for a lot of problems that we have in our society, um, you realize that when we have like a very effective public system that's working, that's devoid of um, corruption, that's very efficient, a majority of the problems that we have um, wouldn't be problems to begin with. Yeah, so you realize that, yeah, there, there still would be the likes of um, MT and that would, um, would create the avenue for people to, um, people to go through school. But I think that um, a very functional, a very effective um, public semester, like, um, public um, service would be able to um, mitigate some of the harms that um, we have in our society. And for me, that's something I'm, I'm, really, I'm really passionate about, it's something I'm really particular about. So I probably would do um, a master's in um, public administration or public policy and then um, do um, public reform, probably a PhD in public reform, and then would move on from there. What, what do your parents make of who you have become now? Um, and becoming. Yeah, I, I think I my. Like a smile on your face. Yeah, um, I think my. I, I think um, without any um, shadow of that, of my parents are proud of me. Yeah, um, I'm young. I'm young. I might just. Um, I'll be turning um, 24 very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then I think within that short time, like short while, I've been able to um, do. Um, do much for myself, irrespective of the background. Um, where I've come from actually hasn't been an, a hindrance to me. I've actually used that um, as, a, as a stepping stone mm. to, um, to reach where I am today. Mm. Yeah, so, um, and then, although we, I've come far, actually the journey I had as, as father. It's, it's it, a feather. Uh, yeah, yeah, the father one, yeah, longer to go. So um, right. I also do, um, continue to um, be diligent in my work and then also ultimately ensure that um, in 10 years time, in 20 years time, my parents will still be proud of me. My nation- And MTN will sit back and say that, yeah, that yeah. was- Yes, MTN will be proud. Beneficiary <laughs> yes, 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 of yes, yes. Vanessa, what, what's, you talked about your dad, what's your mother? Yeah, just my. like me, always talking about our fathers. <laughs> yeah, my mom and daddy ended together. We separated okay. when I was two. Okay. So my mom is in Domi and my dad is okay. Uncle Komemli. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, I've been with my dad when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah, he has been just taking but care But your mom of... knows your story, knows your progress. When yes, you're, you're... and I think they had some misunderstanding. So my mom can't really go closer to my... No, I'm closer. talking about you, your relationship with your mom. She knows your progress, how you are doing. Yes, she knows now. everything. She's like my best friend. Oh, no, you know, okay, so my, like, my, 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 she's my best friend. Okay. So I tell her everything, and she was so excited okay. about it. Okay. And Every day she has been praying and motivating me to do the best because she can see what mm. I will become and, uh, That's and awesome. I also want to be proud. Is your granny alive, Richard? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, and yeah. your parents, they are alive? Yeah, they are alive. Life, and they yes. see who you've become? Yes, yeah, they see and, and they, they are extremely grateful for how far. Yeah. But they, since they couldn't do it and it's been done by someone, I yeah. think I, I have made them proud and my other cousins that I grew up with, they now see me as a role model. They look That's up to right. me and then they also learn how. Because I just told them that I had nothing. It was just steady and steady and steady. Because you can't cut corners in life. Yeah. You just right. need to go through the path. Well, congratulations. Really proud of you. Thank you and, very much. Um, Thank you you much. didn't come and sit here and talk about run your mouth. And a, but you all seem very focused. Yeah. Your head properly screwed on and you know what you want to do and where you want to go. All right, so we want to say congratulations. So we have some packages for you to celebrate you as well. It's not from okay. MTN, it's from the standpoint <laughs> okay. and our partners. Okay, thank you very so, much. <laughs> you, know, you know, so you um, are getting this from Prudential Bank. This is for you. Thank you. This is from eCakes. Put it on your side, the other side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's from eCakes. For you, that's a cake. Thank you. Um, this is from Daffy's for okay. you. Thank you. And then this is, this is how it looks like. This, 
this is it with ice and it has chicken it has sausage it has gizzard from adumas frozen foods adumas frozen foods the new year. that's it hey. yes the new year started you can celebrate on my birthday my yeah. birthday is 23rd january oh, okay sure. that's nice so keep some happy my birthday head. in advance thank oh. you my birthday is so, on the 28th actually you're, you're, you're on the 20th january yeah 28th january sure okay. Thank you. Okay. And then for you, I have this for you. Thank you. From Not Cosmetics. Okay. And then this one from Daffy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Don't look at me. None of you said you have a girlfriend, so me <laughs> And then this is also from E Cakes. It's for you. Thank you. And then this one from Prudential Bank. A beautiful set. Yeah. This one is for you from. Esther and balloons and accessories, wow. you know, with your That's champagne so in your mouth. Wow. Wow. So nice. That's, That's beautiful. Aww. It's also from, for you. <laughs> Thank from you. From Esther and balloons and accessories. You also get a pack of the chicken okay. as well. Thank and you. then for you, oh. wisdom. Thank you very I will much. leave you out. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Our Daffy. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this one from Esther and balloons and accessories. Thank you for you. Much. I love wow. the color. This is from E Cakes. You can swap if you like their color. They I like the color. It's okay. You, you like, like the red? Yeah, okay. but this I like the red. This cakes for you. Thank you very much. And then this one is from Prudential Bank. Thank you very much. And one of my daughters, she's an amazing musician. She's called Ara um, Arabna Utsiwa. Yeah. Okay, so her pen drive, each one, you all have that. Everyone is getting one. Yeah, okay. this is it. So Thank let you. me show you what is in your packages. So okay. You can put it down. Yeah. So for the Prudential Bank, so. this mm. is the package. Thank you. This wow. is what is in it. Oh, you wow. have the diary, the pen, the um, what's a, a call card, a holder, and then a key. Wow. A key wow. holder. That's the key holder. There's something inside though. I didn't even notice. A pen drive. A pen drive. A pen drive. Wow. Oh. Wow. 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 I didn't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's a pen drive. Oh, it killed in a pen drive. That's it. So that's what is in each one of them. And then for you, mm -hmm. this is your set. This is what? Nude Cosmetics. Okay. okay. Nude Cosmetics, you know. That's it. That's for you. And then the cake. The loaf, that's how it looks like. Aww. Wow. Yeah, that's each nice. one of you. This yeah. oh, red velvet. Yes. Yeah. Yummy. Hey, you can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like sweet things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we also have the Duffies. Mm -hmm. For you, the guys, this is what you get. Duffies, um, mm -hmm. hygiene shower gel. Mm -hmm. You get each one. And then there is the Duffies um, immune booster. So okay. the guys, that's what you're getting. And then for you, Vanessa, this is what you get. You get the one, they have three different shades. They have um, the one, the two, the three, you know. Okay. So you, we gave you the two, two. which is okay. in between. You're not dark, you're not fair. Okay. So there's one for hard. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> so you get one of these. <laughs> you get the immune booster. And then you also get, this one is called Duffy's or Hema. You know, it helps you with your messes yeah. and the blast flow and everything. It's very, very good. So that's what all of you are getting. And we say congratulations. Thank we you. are rooting for you. We are looking forward to seeing you at the top. Yeah. Very top. Do much better than we did. Yeah. And congratulations to MTN Foundation, MTN Bright Foundation for what you're doing for the young ones. Do you have something to say to MTN? Yes, um, I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to MTN Ghana and then MTN Ghana Foundation for the bright scholarship they have instituted. It's really helping and changing lives. And as they celebrate their 25th anniversary, I say Ayuko and many more good things to come so all of us can be partakers of these good things from MTN. And I say amen to that. Yeah. Vanessa? Uh, I also say thank you to MTN Foundation scholarship yeah god bless them so much if they wouldn't have been there i don't know where i would have been here mm -hmm. so i say thank you very much for what you've done for me and i i look forward like i actually i'm going to make them proud yes and i say yeah. amen to amen. that wisdom yeah so um 
The MTN Ghana Foundation is actually a testament to the fact that um, MTN is all about connecting people, they care about communi their community, yeah. they care about people, and then being a beneficiary of um, the Bright Scholarship, um, I'm really grateful to um, MTN for this opportunity and then um, for the many lives they are impacting through this initiative, yes. Okay. Well, congratulations once again to And I say a equal to MTN Foundation and thank you for sponsoring this particular segment to make it possible for us to hear the stories of these young ones. I'll be back with a bit of me. Everybody needs somebody. Some people who, you know, find themselves in situations when they really need help and sometimes they don't know where to go. You know, for people like us, who people know us to do philanthropy, where people know us to reach out and help others, everybody seems to heap <laughs> their problems on us. Sometimes you want to direct them where to go, where to go, who to go to, and they don't want to. Listen, one person can do everything. Few people can do it. We all are in a position to help ourselves or to help each other. As a young person out there, when you take to social media, don't just go and comment on people and troll and, and bully and say silly things and what have you. Use social media for your advantage. Search for opportunities on social media. Don't slip into people's DMs and asking for money and this, that, and all that. Ask for opportunity that can open even greater doors for you. We all use social media for something. There you have them. They actually have to go through the process. Listen, life is a process. And somebody may seem to be doing well, but you know what? The person struggled. Travel the journey to get there. And you need to travel your own journey. Some of us have a sense of entitlement, which is wrong. Nobody owes anybody anything. Whatever anybody does for you, it's out of their own volition, out of love, out of compassion. The world does not owe you anything. It is your mother and father who gave birth to you on this earth who owe you that. So in everything, be humble. Be prepared to sacrifice. Take the initiative yourself. And then you can get people to come in to help you. 2022, don't do things the usual way. Do things differently. Do things differently. Slow motion is better than no motion. That is life. You need to be moving. Even in the Bible, the Israelites, they had to go out to pick the manna. Even the God of hosts, the God who, I mean, nothing is impossible to him. He, I mean, what he cannot do does not exist. He could have decided that the Israelites will be there and they will be filled, they will be full. They won't be hungry forever. But no, he rained the manna outside. They had to go out there and get there. This is a year that we have to be serious. We have to be determined. We have to be hardworking. We need to be willing to sacrifice. I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. But I know God has given us wisdom. I pray and hope that you and I use the wisdom. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now. My name is Simala St. Iyali, and I bring you greetings from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. I want to say a big thank you for the opportunity to say a word or two on this special occasion. Oh, it's another year, a year of success, a year of victory, a year full of God's grace. You are truly admirable. Hooray, it's the world's Auntie Gifty's day. Auntie Gifty, I am wishing you a glorious birthday. Oh God, I thank you for such a precious soul, a soul that you have given to mankind, a soul that is making great impact in many, many people's lives. Auntie Gifty, personally, you are a blessing to me. You are a pillar in my life and I cannot thank God enough for your life. 23rd January means a lot because Ohineyere Awodansua was born. 
And as we celebrate today, God has added another year to your year. My prayer is that his presence, his power, and provision continue to take you. May the grace of God continue to fold you, that you will be a blessing to many. As we celebrate today, all the way from Yendi, the capital of Dabon, we are wishing Ohineiri, Dr. Gifty Auntie, happy birthday. <laughs>